Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, this time I will give a tutorial how to assemble a magnetic contactor with a 380 volt coil. As we know, some types of contactors are not the same form and physical, but have the same function. For example, there is a contactor that has a coil of 380 volts and there are 220 volt. The following is a component that is often used in a series of dynamo panels. You need to understand, tutorial is allotted to those of you who already understand the basic components and not as beginners. The following is the circuit on the dynamo motor, for those of you who don't know, please watch my other video tutorial. Number 1, connect the cable from T1 to NC on the red button. Continued from the red button to go to NO on the green button. Then from NO the green button continued the cable to A1 on the contactor. From A1 contactor connect to NO on the contactor. Next, from NC red button or NO green button to NO contactor. From L3 the contactor to NC on tower. Continued from NC thermal overload to A2 on the contactor. Until here the circuit can be used to drive a dynamo motor. For more details, I will display one by one the display of the series so that you are not difficult to see. Number 1. Connect the cable from T1 to NC on the red button. Then what is meant by a push button, push button as a disconnect switch and connecting the source of electric current has NO and NC contacts, where the NO push button is a push switch that can connect and run a contactor in the control circuit. While the NC on the push button where the push button on the red stop switch is a device that can cut off the electric current in the control circuit if the red button is pressed. Number 2. From NC push button red connect to NO push button green. Number 3. Then from NO the green button continued the cable to A1 on the contactor. Number 4. From A1 contactor connect to NO on the contactor. Number 5. NO green button to NO contactor. Number 6. From L3 the contactor to NC on tower. Number 7. Continued from NC thermal overload to A2 on the contactor. The circuit is complete, this time we will add an indicator light to the circuit you are assembling. This is a 220 voltage indicator light. You have to use a path for a 220 voltage lamp. This is the display of one phase 220 volt. The three phase mains voltage is generally denoted by the symbol RSTN. If one phase is connected with knee neutral then the size of the resulting voltage is 220 volts. Connect the neutral cable to the parallel lamp. Connect the NO contactor to the MCB1 phase as a safety, then from NCB connect to a plus plus green light. From the cable connection to the MCB, then from the MCB connect to the NC on the contactor, from the NC contactor connect to the plus on the red light. And now the circuit is ready to use, thank you for watching my video, don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have input and suggestions, please write in the comments column.